In our news bulletin for this evening, the new primary school project development is now back on track as preparations for construction are underway. New appeal for Tuvalu starts with collection of goods this week to be shipped off on the next boat. Scenic Matawai has been rebranded and new management look forward to developments on the island. The baby elephant is settling in well and provisions have been made for public viewing at the site in Kaho. Kaluamas galore on the island as eager fisher folk quickly snap up the seasonal delicacies. Plans to relocate the Newer Primary School are now back on track with developments moving forward at the new site in Pagliasi. The project funded by the Australian government has been in discussions for about three to four years now and there have been a few delays that have now been resolved. Premier Tokitalangi says he is happy that the project is finally moving forward. The 14 containers, I understand, have arrived. Arrow has started the work up of the site, the road and the, um, and the um, site works have been completed by our people here. Um, it's just now a question of them completing the job. The delay, if uh, you're going to ask me about the delay, is because of the fact that New Zealand government and Australian government want us to have some liability over the construction of the building and so on, when in fact we had no say in the matter in relation to that. So therefore I refuse to allow that to occur. But now that's been resolved. It's between Australia and New Zealand. It's got nothing to do with the Neogum. All we're waiting for at the present moment is for them to complete the building before the end of the before the beginning of the New Year's uh, school term, and I'll turn the key and get the kids going and be taught up there. New Zealand-based company Arrow International have been contracted to build the new school, and work is underway. Premier Talangi also explained why government wanted to relocate the school. The building that is up there at the present moment was leaking. Firstly, secondly. We didn't think that the integrity of the walls of the buildings up there were up to standard after that cyclone, so therefore we had to shift it up. We, it, it's a good site. We didn't believe that it was, it had, it, I wasn't looking at the fact that it had anything to do with any waves getting up there and so on. Um, but it was more to do with the fact that the building's integrity uh, was in question and therefore I wanted the kids to be shifted out of there as quickly as possible. Premier Talani says he is expecting this project to be completed by the end of the year and the school should be ready to be opened and handed over to be used for the new school year next year. New Year's Appeal for Tuvalu has started with the collection of goods to be packed and shipped off on the next boat. The customs cargo shed at the wharf has been the drop-off and collection point since yesterday and a shipping container at the back will be packed and closed by the 30th of March. The short time frame means that the community on island would need to get as much together to support families affected by the cyclone to help them in their recovery efforts. A majority of the Tuvaluan community on island live in Vaya and as such have already come together to discuss ways to either raise funds or gather resources to help people back home. Vaya Member of Parliament Dalaisi Tamatalaisi is calling on the Niwayan community to give generously as we understand what it means to be affected by natural disasters. He says what is needed now is to take a unified approach to help our close neighbours in the Pacific. The appeal to people on the island is to donate what they can, but especially non-perishable goods. Staff from the Ministry of Social Services will be on hand to collect, sort out and note down contributions that will be packed accordingly. Matavai has seen quite a bit of change and developments this year with a change of name to Scenic Matavai. Scenic Hotels has a chain of 17 hotels with two international hotels, one in Tonga and now Scenic Matavai in Niue. Over the past three months, extensive work has gone into rebranding and marketing the resort and Niue as a destination. We caught up with Simon Jackson, the new manager for Scenic Matavai today, to find out what the plans are and vision forward. For the last three months, we've uh, just taken over. We had an area manager, who, uh, Brett Inkster, who has uh, set up the standards. Uh, we've had our HR team here for the last three months just to train the staff and uh, look at upskilling. Um, we are a f 
possibly trying to achieve a four and a half uh, star product here in Matavai, which is something that is very achievable. Our rooms, we've gone through all the rooms and implemented our um, brand standards and also training our staff to maintain those standards to a consistency that uh, scenic require um, in order to um, keep our our visitors happy and uh, comfortable. Scenic Hotel Group has a big uh, marketing team that are based in all over New Zealand and we're well tapped into the European market, New Zealand and all over the place. Um, so those are quite robust and we're trying our best to attract more people here. Our forward bookings are looking very strong compared to previous years. Um, we're never going to forget the locals. Um, we are known for um, tapping into the local market because um, it's very important that uh, Matavai does attract the locals. Um, we are launching a Moana card which is a 15% discount on, on all food and beverage for our locals. You have to be a local resident uh, to, um, to apply for this card and we're, we're taking applications at the moment and hopefully the cards will arrive in the next two weeks. Staff have also undergone a wide range of training and the new menu will also look at using more local products. The tourist season is around the corner and there are plans. Simon is also just settling into this new job with his family and we asked him what his impression is so far. Oh, we're settling in well. We've just come from a very small town in, uh, in New Zealand um, and uh, just trying to adjust to the weather. Um, but uh, overall the kids are loving it. Uh, they've made a few friends and uh, the, the whole family have settled in well. Um, no complaints what so far except for this weather but uh, we understand it's going to get cooler and uh, just getting used to it and we're loving it. On behalf of the Scenic uh, Hotel Group we'd like to invite everyone to come come and visit. Uh, we've got a few, uh, we've got a whole week's um, food and beverage program that we have put in. We've got an island night on Saturdays, uh, seafood night on Fridays. Uh, the a la carte menu has gone quite well in the last three weeks since we implemented it. You know, this uh, Matavai belongs to Niue, and uh, we'd like to see more of Niue inside the Matavai, you know, and uh, Scenic are all for the local um, uh, patrons, and uh, love to work with the local community and the local business community, just to, the focus is to promote Niue, and that's where Scenic come in, we're not uh, promoting Matavai itself, we are trying to sell the destination and I think Niue is always a special place. Scenic Matavai looks forward to interacting with more tourists and locals alike. The island is still buzzing with excitement two weeks on since the arrival of a baby elephant from Sri Lanka that is being quarantined here in Niue. Angeline, as she has been named, is reported to be settling in quite well to her new surroundings, even with the heat. A public viewing platform has been set up and has been quite busy. We stopped in to see Anjali, who has been cared for by staff from the Auckland Zoo and handlers from Sri Lanka. On a lighter note, we hear that Anjali quite enjoys the local V fruits, and the project managers have this week issued a public notice regarding public viewing hours that are from Monday to Saturday, from 9 in the morning until 6 in the afternoon. On Sundays, the site is closed and staff and elephant handlers at the site have been advised to ensure these times are adhered to. Anyone found outside of these hours will be asked to leave the area. Eager fisher folk have been spending a lot of time at the sea for the past week or so with the arrival of the seasonal yellow striped goatfish on the shores known as Kaluam locally. The yellow striped goatfish normally arrives at the beginning of the year and when purple flowers are in bloom in the fields. The famous bait used for the seasonal fish is a hermit crab known as the gulo, and many people have been scouring the roads to catch them for bait. At the moment, sea tracks near the bay, especially in Avaseli, have been filled with eager fishermen and fisherwomen trying their luck with the little fish, catching scores and scores of fish to take home for a nice change to the menu. For those who have been patient enough, They've been successful in catching the fish and we're happy with the total catch of the day with plans to continue while the season lasts. And that concludes our news bulletin for this evening. Do join us again for our next news bulletin next week and have an enjoyable weekend ahead.